Have you ever wondered why network security is so vital in today's digital age? Well, let's dive into that. In a world where vast amounts of sensitive information are stored and transferred digitally, network security is not just a luxury, but a necessity. It stands as a formidable fortress, guarding against the relentless onslaught of cyber threats. Imagine your personal information, confidential business data, or even national security details falling into the wrong hands. A chilling thought, isn't it? That's what cyber attacks and data breaches can do, and the consequences can be devastating. The loss of privacy, financial repercussions, and potential damage to reputation are just the tip of the iceberg. That's why we need to safeguard our data vigorously and maintain our privacy diligently. And the first line of defense? Well, that's where network security comes in, providing a sturdy shield against these digital invaders. The two robust systems that play a crucial role in network security are the Intrusion Detection System and Intrusion Prevention System. What exactly is an Intrusion Detection System, or IDS as it's commonly known? Well, imagine a sophisticated digital security guard continuously monitoring the flow of data in your network. This vigilant guardian is the Intrusion Detection System, a critical component of cybersecurity infrastructure. Now let's delve into its function. The primary role of an IDS is to keep a watchful eye on network traffic, scanning for any signs of suspicious activities or anomalies. It's like a cyber watchdog, always alert and ready to bark at the slightest hint of trouble. An IDS operates on the principle of better safe than sorry. It uses predefined rules known as signatures to identify potential threats. These signatures could include patterns associated with known malicious activities, anomalies in data flow, or any behavior that deviates from the standard network protocol. But it doesn't stop there. An IDS is also capable of learning and adapting. It uses a technology called anomaly-based detection, which allows it to learn what's normal for your network and flag anything that deviates from this norm. Now what happens when the IDS detects suspicious activity? It sounds the alarm. More specifically, it sends alerts to the system administrators about the potential threat. These alerts can be a wake-up call to the security team, prompting them to investigate the issue and take necessary actions to mitigate the risk. One thing to remember though, an IDS is like a watchman, it's not a soldier. It's designed to detect and alert, not to take direct action against the threats. That's the job of its big brother, the Intrusion Prevention System, or IPS. In essence, an IDS is the eyes and ears of your network security, constantly monitoring, learning, and alerting. It's your first line of defense against potential cyber threats, keeping your network secure by staying one step ahead of malicious activities. While IDS is a watchful sentinel, it's not designed to take action against threats. For that, we have the Intrusion Prevention System. Now what about the Intrusion Prevention System or IPS? How does it differ from IDS? An Intrusion Prevention System, commonly known as IPS, is like the big brother of Intrusion Detection System. It's not just a bystander watching the network traffic and raising the alarm when something suspicious takes place. No, IPS is far more proactive. It's the bouncer at the door of your network, ensuring potential threats never make it inside. Think of an IPS as an evolution of IDS. It not only detects threats but also takes swift action to prevent them. While an IDS is busy analyzing, an IPS takes it one step further and blocks potential threats from entering the network in real time. It's like having a bodyguard who not only identifies the bad guys but also stops them before they can cause havoc. The primary function of an IPS is to identify suspicious activity, log information about this activity, attempt to block or stop it, and report it. It's not just looking for known threats but also for abnormal network behavior. This could be anything from a sudden flood of traffic to an unusual number of login attempts. An IPS operates inline, meaning it actively sits between the outside network and the inside network, monitoring all network traffic. When a potential threat is detected, the IPS springs into action, blocking the threat before it can infiltrate the network. It's like a vigilant sentinel, always on guard. But what makes an IPS truly remarkable is its ability to learn and adapt. Many modern IPS systems are intelligent, using machine learning to analyze patterns, identify new threats, and refine their defenses. This means, as cyber threats evolve, so too can your protection. So, while IDS alerts you of a possible threat, IPS goes one step further and stops it in its tracks. But which one is better? So, IDS alerts and IPS acts, but which one should you choose for your network security? 
let's delve into the finer points of both systems to help you make an informed decision. Remember the choice between an intrusion detection system and an intrusion prevention system isn't a one-size-fits-all solution. It wholly depends on your specific security needs and resources. Let's start with the Intrusion Detection System, or IDS. It's like a vigilant watchman, monitoring your network for any suspicious activity or potential threats. Once it detects something amiss, it alerts the network administrators, providing them with the necessary information to address the issue. However, it doesn't take any action to prevent the intrusion. Think of it as your network's early warning system. In scenarios where you have a dedicated team readily available to respond to these alerts, an IDS could be a great choice. It allows your team to scrutinize the threat before taking any action, ensuring you don't block legitimate traffic mistakenly flagged as malicious. Now, let's shift our focus to the Intrusion Prevention System, or IPS. This system not only detects threats but also takes immediate action to prevent them from causing harm. It's more like a watchman who doesn't just alert you about the intruder but also locks the door to keep them out. If your network faces a high volume of attacks and you don't have the resources to manually respond to each alert, an IPS might be the better option. It offers a more proactive approach to network security, automatically blocking detected threats before they can cause any damage. However, it's essential to note that IPS systems can sometimes be a double-edged sword. They might block legitimate traffic erroneously identified as a threat, leading to false positives. Hence, they require careful tuning and regular updates to ensure they effectively differentiate between benign and malicious activities. Now you might be wondering, can IDS and IPS coexist? Absolutely! In fact, many organizations opt for a combined IDS-IPS solution to provide a layered security approach. In this setup, the IDS serves as the early warning system, alerting the team about potential threats. Simultaneously, the IPS acts as the first line of defense, blocking recognized threats automatically. So whether you choose IDS, IPS, or a combination of both, it all comes down to your network's specific needs, the resources at your disposal, and your risk tolerance level. Ultimately, the goal is to protect your network from potential intrusions, ensuring its integrity, confidentiality, and availability. So, whether you choose IDS or IPS, both are integral components of a comprehensive network security strategy. Let's quickly recap what we've learned today. We started off by discussing the crucial role of network security in our interconnected world. We emphasized that in an era where data breaches and cyber attacks are becoming more commonplace, maintaining robust network security is not just an option, but a necessity. It safeguards our sensitive information, ensures uninterrupted online services, and fosters trust in digital platforms. Next, we delved into the world of Intrusion Detection Systems, or IDS. We discovered that IDS serves as the watchful eye, constantly monitoring network traffic for any suspicious activities. It's like having a security guard who never sleeps, always on the lookout for potential threats. However, it's important to remember that an IDS is a detective, not a protector. It will alert you to a potential breach but it does not take any action to prevent it. Then we explored the realm of Intrusion Prevention Systems, or IPS. We learned that, unlike IDS, an IPS not only detects intrusions but also takes proactive measures to prevent them. It's like having a security guard who not only spots a threat but also takes immediate action to neutralize it. This active response mechanism is a key feature that distinguishes an IPS from an IDS. We also highlighted the differences between these two systems. An IDS is a passive system that monitors and alerts, while an IPS is an active system that prevents and protects. Both systems are critical in their own ways and their choice depends on the specific needs and resources of the organization. In conclusion, IDS and IPS are two powerful tools in our cybersecurity arsenal. They work together to detect, alert, prevent, and protect against network intrusions, playing a vital role in maintaining the integrity and security of our data. Remember, a secure network is not just about choosing the right systems, but also about understanding how they work to protect your data.